beautiful. I feel so good. Hey guys, and today it is 19 days till Christmas. At least I think it is. 19 days, that's right. Yeah, let's go with that. Today's video is all about Tammy Burr's new makeup products. And I am so excited to try these out. I haven't actually done that yet. I've just purchased them and then they just sat in my box, staring at me like, please try me. First things first, yes, as you can tell, I have a sore throat and it's coming to the point where I'm actually fed up. It's just, yesterday it was really hurting whilst I was at work. I was having a coughing fit. I had tears streaming down my face and I could not keep myself together. <laughs> but it's getting better. I've been taking some honey and lemon and hoping that that helps with this video. We'll see how it goes. Are you guys excited for Christmas? Because I'm so excited for Christmas. As you can tell, I finally have my lights up and right behind me are my Christmas decorations, which I will try and feature in another video. But for today's video, you've just got my twinkly lights. So with this range, I didn't buy everything. I just bought the items that I knew I was going to use or I knew that would suit my skin tone. I got these as soon as they were released. This is how long it's taken me to do this video. So I'm just gonna go straight in and I'm gonna go with the palette. Now this I was most excited for just because she's never done a smoky palette before. It's a little bit out there and I guess it's it's very on trend at the minute, these kind of like smoky blue eyes. I'm not really a fan of blue eyeshadow, however this palette just looks stunning. So this one is called Stargazing at the top here. Then we have Endless Sky, Midnight Navy, it's just a deep purple shimmer with like, I would say it's got some specks of pink glitter in that. And then we have Into the Night which is the matte black and I'm really excited for those. I'm not going to be putting this on my eyes at the moment because I already have stargazing just in the inner corner of my eyes, you probably can't see it, but it is a nice um, highlight highlighting shade to the eyelid and it looks absolutely stunning. I don't recommend this palette for everybody because if you don't like smoky eyes or dark eyeshadows then this is probably not the palette for you. Next we're going to go on to these brand new products that she's never brought out in her range before and that would be the face illuminator and the body illuminator. In my Tanya Burr Christmas range video, I mentioned that there was a brand new product in one of the palettes, and that was a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. Now, these guys are completely different. Now, the difference is, this here is a liquid highlighter. So, this is the natural highlighter that you get, the powder highlighter. This is the liquid version of this powder. Um, so, it's basically, just a liquid form of the highlighter. It does the same job, but it's a liquid, so you blend it in with your fingers kind of thing. These are designed to make your skin glow. Instead of Zoella's, Zoella's powder puff was like a shimmer, and then she also had a body, um, the body like shimmer bronzer thing. I can't remember what it was called, it's in my mind. But these are very similar to that. However, I've heard that these are much better, and they give that kind of more of a sheen not so much glitter appears. I don't know, maybe, let's, should we just try this out? Because I, I have no idea and I want to know myself. I think they're pretty much exactly the same. You know what, I'm just gonna swatch, swatch both, just to see if they are exactly the same. I love the fact that this is a pump and it's a squeezy tube as well. So you can like squeeze all of the stuff down to here and then squeeze it out with the pump. I think that's a very, very clever idea. Um, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit onto my hand squirt a little bit onto my hand. Nothing's coming out. I don't want like loads to pop out at once. Am I failing at this? Please pump out. <laughs> oh, I hear something. <gasps> Yay! It finally appeared. Oh, it's this kind of like really, I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but it's like, it blends in with my skin tone really nicely. It's this gold kind of like sheen. Let's just get... Oh. oh my gosh, what is that smell? What's the scent of this? Oh, okay, no, I really like this. Okay, so this is not just like a glowy kind of effect. It does actually have glitter in it. It has a ton of glitter in this. Not as silvery and 
glittery as the powder puff, but this is, this is, oh, this is stunning. It smells like something, what does it smell like? It's just this lovely, glowy, glittery effect on your skin, and I think this is gonna be perfect for like your shoulders, your decolletage. I would put on my decolletage, but I'm wearing the wrong kind of top to do that, and you can't really see it on the camera anyway. Um, which is what I really like, it's not so bold either, it's not so bright, so when the light shines on you, it's not going to be like, wow, you're covered in glitter and you look like a sparkling vampire from Twilight, so it's just that nice party kind of effect of a glitter sheen on you, it, it, on your skin, it just looks really nice. I'm now going to try the face illuminator, okay, that came out a lot quicker and easier. Oh no, the face one smells a little different, I think. Okay, maybe that's the hand sanitizer I put on before. I do think the face illuminator has less glitter in it, but maybe that's because I put more on my other hand. I don't know. So my first thoughts on the body illuminator is that it smells very similar to like a gingerbready smell. <laughs> I don't know. No, it does. It has a very, like, baking gingerbread smell to it. It might not be gingerbread, it might just be, like, cream cakes or cookies. Like, that kind of, like, baking scent. The face one, however, might be a softer, a softer tone of that. Like, it might have been watered down a little more than the body illuminator. And it kind of smells a bit more perfumey. That's just what I'm getting from it, <laughs> so don't hold me to that. Next we have the cheek illuminators. And I got two of these because... I wasn't so sure on the other one. I think the other one I didn't get was the um, the like the blush one. Oh my gosh, come off. These wrappers are sticking to me like hell. Oh, that really doesn't sound good. Forever summer. Forever summer. <gasps> that just like pop out. Oh my gosh. No guys, no, 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 no. No. It's like sticking out. I think mine's broke. I think mine's broken. Oh, it's a stupid sticker. That, well that's a great incentive. They stuck the sticker over the, why well, you need to twist it. Let's try again. Why are you like, ugh. it is, it's broken. What? Twist that up, okay. We have left off. It's back and it's fixed. So definitely not impressed with this packaging because it, it fell out. And by the sound of this one, this one's also fallen out, so not impressed with that. As you can see, it's this very sheer highlight. It's pink. I'm not really a pink kind of girl. I like my kind of like gold and silver highlights, so I'll have to see how this goes. So the other one I have is in the shade Golden Girl, and this is the one I was really anticipated by, because as you know, I love my gold highlights. And this is not even in the freaking package. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, it's not even in there. It's in the lid. This is terrible. This is terrible, this is awful. This is so bad. No makeup should have to, should have to, should come like this. Not impressed. I'm really not impressed with this packaging. Back to the fact that I like gold. Let's see how this, just checking it's not gonna fall over. This like bronze, yeah, you're gonna use this for like a bronze, ooh. As you can see, it's a very nice gold orangey tone. And next to the highlight, you can see the comparison and how shimmery they both are. Yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, man. Not impressed with the the design of the packaging. I love the fact that they were as gold. Love that. For both of them to fall out, it's a little disappointing that I find both have broken out of their. Um, Thing that's supposed to hold it in and it's not going to be good because now I've got to be very careful with these and very risky of the fact that they could fall out when I use them so not impressed on that you don't want your makeup flying out at you when you're trying to put your makeup on that's what I'm trying to say um, but I absolutely love this bronze the bronze shade is stunning I love it I love it so much last but not least we have the lipsticks now I got two of the lipsticks however I do think I want two more the two I got were the two I wanted as soon as Tanny Burr released the range or sneak peeks sneak peeks of the range online I'm gonna start off 
with Big Kiss. I absolutely love very like deep berry tones. I love my reds, but my deep berry berry reds are my favourite. Start off with the nude if you're too scared to go into a shade like this because my friend did and when she went into the reds, she was happy she did it that way around. So this is Big Kiss. And this is not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna swish it on my hand for you guys to see. There we go. That is that one. Gosh, it really looks really bright on my camera, but it's actually a lot deeper. Next lipstick we have is Pink Coco. This is the one I chose right from the beginning. This is the one I was so anticipated for. I really wanted to see how Tanya Burr could pull off this kind of brown pinky nude and I just think this well I'm hoping from the pictures that this would be like one everyone would like oh my gosh I love it already that is stunning absolutely love that I'm gonna put this on my hand because I need to oh my gosh yes the formula of pink cocoa seems to be a lot more more like a sheen whereas the um, big kiss is a lot thicker in formula I don't know why that is maybe that's just my the two tubes I have love that so there you have pink cocoa big kiss golden girl and forever summer which you can see once I move my hand slightly so the one I'm gonna put on is pink cocoa just because I want to see what it looks like on my lips and I just see this shade is stunning let's get my mirror The lipsticks don't have a like like fruity or any scent to it, it's just the typical lipstick scent which mm, not so keen on. Yeah. I really like that shade. I absolutely love that shade. Yes, that is my jam. It goes really well with like the ensemble I'm wearing right now. I really like that. In fact, I'm going to go all out and I'm going to put a bit on. A bit on. I'm going to put a bit of Forever Summer just on my cheeks just so you can see how well these, this highlighter is. I should have took my glasses off of this, but I'm just going to do this a little bit quick. Let's just blend that in a little bit. Can we see that? Can we see that? So it's this lovely natural highlight just here. No highlight on this side. Let's just see how this goes. Let's blend that in a little bit. It's not the best highlight, it's really not the best highlight, but it's a nice natural nude of a highlight and this lipstick though, love this lipstick. It's a friggin' winner. I really love it, I really love this lipstick. The highlight, not so keen on. That is the end of this video, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye! I sound like a flipping weasel or something. I just sound really deep and it really it's really annoying me. Forever and ever. Okay, okay, don't sing because your voice is painfully horrible right now to listen to. Don't do that. Yet. Whoever whoever designed this you ain't got no thumbs up from me. You ain't. You ain't. You haven't. You haven't got any th thumbs up from me. I think when I have a sore throat, I go a bit ghetto, gangster, a bit lazy with my words because I just can't be bothered to talk. And my nose is running. Oh no.